Hi, welcome back to How to Be a Working Comic. My name is Dave Schwenson. I'm author of the book. Okay, I like to do that now instead of holding up the book. It just seems like less work. Uh, I received an email this week from a comedian who took my workshop a while back, and it says, Dave, now that I've established a comedic identity and delivery style, does it become more important to present new material more often? If so, then how important does that become? Well, I'll be honest with you. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, hold to that other but the truth? Certainly. What have I got to lose? There are two ways to go about this. Of course, as a creative artist, you always want to continue to write, create new material. Matter of fact, uh, you know, I don't make this stuff up, by the way. Uh, this is things I've learned through my experience or working with working comics who give me all this fabulous information that I get to share with you. And I'm sure it's in all three of my books. Comics always say the best advice they have would be to write, write, and write some more. But also as a business person, which is what you are, if you're going to be, or if you are a working comic, you always have to be ready for that audition, that showcase. The comics used to call it having that six minutes ready anytime a talent booker walked into the club, they could go to their audience proven material and show them at their best in the showcase. However, they always wanted to keep writing and creating new material. So my advice to you, because I know you're still an aspiring comedian on your way to becoming a working comic, is to keep creating, keep writing, keep getting better and better. However, your audience proven material, the stuff you know gets laughs, have that ready. Have that in your back pocket ready to go in case a talent booker walks into a club and you get an audition and you want to show them at your best. So what's the answer? Well, get some good material down for your showcase, audience proven, but don't stop writing and continue to grow as a writer as well as a comedian. Okay, as always, I have a story about this. Matter of fact, it's in my first book, which is How to Be a Working Comic. Two of my favorite improviser comedians, uh, two of the guys that would go on stage and you never knew what they were gonna do, just creative and, well again, they improvised a lot. However, they told me, they had their showcase sets, their six minutes, they called it, ready to go. And I would watch them on stage in Los Angeles and they would be all over the place. You didn't know what they were going to do. Then word would come around that, hey, the booker of The Tonight Show or Comedy Central, someone walked in a room. And you know what? They could go right into their audience tested material and have a great showcase and a great audition and perhaps get an appearance on a national television show. So what's the answer? Get your set down, get your audience proven uh, showcase set down, but do not stop creating. Don't stop writing. As the comics say, write, write, and write some more. I hope that was helpful. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have a question for me, send it in. See if I can find a, an answer for you. Uh, subscribe to this channel because I really want to know if these videos are helpful. And, um, well, I guess all I can say now is thanks for watching. My name is Dave Schwenson. This is How to Be a Working Comic. And until we meet again next time, keep laughing.